Hi hey guys, I've got a new level here um, uh, as a test demo. So you notice how the textures, this is, is using the dynamic lighting. Uh, notice how sort of the, the textures, it's a little bit flat looking, isn't it? It's, there's, no, there's no shininess to the textures. It's a bit, just a bit flat. I mean, that is typical of basic copy cube without any uh, specularity or highlights or anything like that. So we want to improve that because um, obviously static is like that. Dynamic, it gives it a little bit more shadow and highlights, which is a bit better. But what if you want to add shine to the object? There's no PBR materials. Well, actually, you can add shine to Copy Cube. Um, you select the mesh, view Eurolix settings and the materials you can actually update the specularity and the shine of it but I've got 42 materials does that mean I've got to go through every single one and manually change it it's a bit of a pain well no you don't I've just created a a plugin for that just go alternate L for lighting uh, ambient light exposure well in my case I don't need any for this because I want fully uh, dependent on the point lights only and even directional light if I'm using it. I don't want ambient applied to it, but uh, you may want some of it. So normally it's 255, so full exposure, but uh, in my case, I'll just turn that off. Emissive glow, I don't need any emissive on this one in particular, uh, so that's zero. Specular color, well, I do want some specular. This is the shine, so 255 might be a bit too much. I usually find 150 is pretty good. Now the shine amount, uh, I find about 15 is good so boom there you go copy cube doesn't have any shine oh yes it does it has a bit of shine it might uh, look a little bit old school but it's it's a, it's a big improvement on the old uh, the basic textures isn't it it's a big improvement uh, and it really shows up when you move the light across it that's the key thing so the light as the light moves it changes the specular angle of in other words the shine effect of the of the texture so that totally works it's all right isn't it it's not too bad now that's your basic update um there is a, a more complete one if you want to actually change the actual tint of the color from just white to black you can i've got another one uh alternate f for full full rgb lighting so uh say for example i'll just get rid of the ambient for now and so I can just concentrate to RGB, that's ambient, this is emissive, RGB, then this specular. Now if I want to add a bit of red to the highlight, I could go 150 for R for red and then 100, something like that for G, maybe 100 for specular color there and then 15. RC, uh, now it's given a bit of a red tinge. That's probably better, isn't it? arguably better because the whole spaceship has got a bit of a red effect to it so there you go you can change any colors you want uh, alternate F if I want to add a bit of ambient color you can do that uh, say for example uh, R so a bit of green color or uh, maybe blue um, so I go to maybe 10 10 and say 20 or 30 or something um, so you just got to cycle through. There we are. That's the. There you go. Gave it a little bit of a blue tinge. It's a bit hard to see, but it's definitely there. So you can, in other words, you can update how you like it. Um, let's maybe give that a bit more, more, more serious effect. Um, on the ambient, just so you can show. It see the ambient a bit clearer shine effect there you are so it's added a blue and a red specular so you can mix and match how you like but notice that the uh, that ambient amount is, is is how much the ambient lighting of the game is affecting your textures on that mesh uh, so you can change it for each mesh of course um, so in other words if I go into the ship View the Irelix settings. Now you can see the same things have all been updated across all 42 materials. So it saved me heaps of time. Uh, so there it is. 
150, 100, 100, 50, 50, 150. Um, for interior uh, places, I don't usually update the ambient. I have that turned off typically, so I want to only rely on the point lights, but you might want to have a little bit of exposure. Ambient light is a separate issue altogether. Um, if you turn ambient light off, obviously it won't affect the blue then. So the blue is removed because that's, that's connected to ambient light. Um, but when the ambient light goes up, so does the uh, so does this ambient effect on that mesh for each texture. So yeah, so I hope you like that. Uh, it's for free download. You can get off itch.io. Um, just go to. I'll give you the link. Um, there's there it is there. Copy cube lighting. I'll, I'll put the link on the forum as well as the uh, YouTube channel. You can download it and use that in your game. Standard lighting and full full RGB lighting. Yeah, so I uh, hope you like that. Cheers.